Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. The River Campus at Southeast Missouri State University has a full year of exciting performances coming up. Here to talk about them is Bob Cherokee. He's the Assistant Director of the Holland School of Visual and Performing Arts. Thank you so much for coming by to talk with us, Bob. You're very welcome. Well, let's let's start with, um, we have some big touring acts, jazz, um, classical music, and we also have, as we mentioned, jazz great Peter Nero. Jazz great Peter Nero will be coming to perform with our students. Tell it, for folks that don't know who he is, tell us a, a little bit of, a, a, about him. He is a, a jazz pianist. He is world famous and has been performing uh, as, a, as a jazz uh, musician for uh, 40 years, I would think. I'll, I'll, I'll be safe in at least, at least 40 years. Um, well known in the music community and and in the he's he used to tour with his uh, quintet all over the United States um, and what he wants to do is come and work with college students now passing on his his type of jazz and his expertise to them so he'll be coming in and doing uh, workshops and and mounting his style of jazz on our jazz jazz band and then doing a public performance he's bringing his his bassist with him and the two of them will work with the jazz band uh, in, in a public performance uh, so it's going to be really really beautiful. Oh, what, what style of jazz does, uh, does Peter Nero play in? Uh, smooth jazz. It's not blues, it's not, it's not, um, you, you know there are jazz greats, there's, there's, there's um, uh, Count Basie Orchestra and all those big bands. He was not a big band performer, he was more of a, a traditional type of jazz performer. Um, I think of going to his concerts and, and the people sitting there going, he's doing one of the, you know, these kind of things, <laughs> very, 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 very cool. Um, but uh, again, on a, on a national and international scale. Now, now, Peter Nero is not the first touring act that's going to be at the River Campus this year. Th that, would, that would belong to, the, uh, to an acrobatic yes. Chinese group. Tell us, a, tell us a little bit about them. Well, the, 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 this is, and I have, to, I, have to, I have to read the title because it's, it's very specific, The National Acrobats and Circus of the People's Republic of China. And this is a, an organization that's been around for many, many, many years. And it started as one of these traditional Chinese circus groups with the, with the, the acrobatic stuff and the, and the, the handstands and, the, and, the, and the, the stacking of chairs and going 50 feet up in the air on a, on a stack of chairs. And it, it has recently evolved in the last, let's say, 10, 12, 15 years. It has evolved into a, a combination of that kind of art, but also the Cirque du Soleil, mm. very polished, very modern type of art. In, in so much that their artistic director was commissioned by the Cirque du Soleil to help them create their, their style of circus entertainment. So it's a mix of the old and the new by one of the, one of the oldest um, uh, Chinese circus companies in the world. And uh, it, it's, going to be very, it's going to be quite unique. Now, Cole Porter's Anything Goes is coming to, to yes. town also. That's going to be a real crowd pleaser, I think. Yes. Well, you know, Anything Goes, it's, it's interesting. Uh, musicals will, will run in cycles where you won't see a, 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 a show for many, many years, and then all of a sudden everybody's doing it. And actually, we did this a couple years ago, two or three years ago, at Southeast, a local production of it. But this will be the professional touring company, top-notch New York actors uh, coming in to the, to the River Campus to perform all the Cole Porter songs, you know, uh, well, Anything Goes, and, and, and all those wonderful, wonderful songs that, that, that we, you see, you hum every day, and then you go and see the musical and say, oh, that's where that came from. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, uh, the Southeast Missouri Symphony will has another great season lined up. They're going to start off with the, um, with a sampler, and this is a, a tradition that they've done for, for that's correct. years and years and years. And that's years. correct. It's in the Shuck Recital Hall, and it's been, become so popular, they're actually doing two, one right Oh, really? after the other. I think it's a two o'clock and a three o'clock. And, um, and it's just, it's, it's free. You go in, they do a, an abbreviated program. The Shuck Recital Hall isn't as big as the Bedell mm -hmm. Theater. And so they uh, will come in and do small selections, uh, a smaller orchestra, or it's a chamber orchestra, and they uh, uh, give you, give you uh, well, just what it says, samples of what's coming up in the season. What are some of the uh, some of the uh, some, some of the works that the, the symphony's planning on on this? On, well, on this I year? do know I, I don't imagine they can fit this on the sampler, but I do know that they're ending the season with Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Wow! With with a choral a, the, well, the choir section and of course mm -hmm. a full symphony orchestra, and that the, on that particular performance, which is late in the year, um, they are partnering with the Southern Illinois University Symphony 
they work together and they perform it here at Southeast and they also perform it up the road in Carbondale. And they've been doing this for the last few years. So it's a wonderful partnership and it's a much bigger orchestra and a, and a much bigger sound. And it's a great Beethoven's Ninth. I mean, you can't get any better than that. Now the uh, the theater and dance department they have some uh, they have some heavy hitters on their uh, some 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 big names on the on the on their schedule this year we have uh, Macbeth, The King and I, yes. Hairspray, yes, um, Daisy pulls it off, Daisy pulls it off, um, and and as as I somebody just told me about Macbeth and they said it's like a rock'em sock'em show I mean it it, it there's a lot of uh, fight scenes mm -hmm. in it and we have a new a, a new faculty member who who specifically directs fight scenes and. You have to think of it. If you're going to swing a sword, you need to know where it's going to end up. So, <laughs> so we've got somebody that's very, very good at at that, and uh -huh. you know, and, and that's his specialty. And that's I think I don't know. I can't speak for their department, but that's probably one of the reasons they chose Macbeth. Oh, really? Sure, because they okay. got, they've got they got someone that really knows how to <laughs> how to get the best out of the students without killing somebody in the process. Right, right. And now I remember they did, they did Hamlet a couple of years ago. Everybody yes. dies at the end of Hamlet. Yes, yes, um, yes. Mac Macbeth is pretty well. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not your every happily ever after kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> So. Let, let, let's talk a little bit about some of these other touring um, sure. um, uh, well, artists that are coming. I'm really, I'm really excited about the, the tango, uh, the tango group. Yes, we've got, uh, we've got um, um, Tango Buenos Aires, yeah. which is the premier company from Buenos Aires, premier tango company. And you know, tango is a pretty hot and sultry kind of dance, and these people are the, the absolute finest. And if you're into ballroom dancing, or anything like that. Um, this is the ultimate in tango, and it's going to be a beautiful evening. And they show you the different styles of tango, and um, I've, I've seen, of course, the, the promotional stills and, the, and the, the beautiful, beautiful performers and magnificent costumes with the red the woman with the red rose and the whole bit. And so it's, it's, it's going to be a great evening. And for, for Christmas this year, we also have a, an Irish Christmas. Yes. We have an Irish Christmas in America. Now this is similar to, it has the singing and the dancing and the, the fantastic costumes uh, of Ireland, and, uh, but they're doing some traditional Irish songs, but they're also doing some traditional Western songs, Christmas carols and those kinds of things. So that's, a, that, that's going to be another one of those polished evenings of, of varying styles of music. It's, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. We've been talking with Bob Cherokee. He's the assistant director of the Holland School of Visual and Performing Arts. Bob, thank you so much for coming by. It's my pleasure.